Hey everyone and welcome back. So in this video we'll be solving another crosser scripting lab on Portswigger Academy. So let's get started. So in this lab we have reflected crosser scripting vulnerability in the search query tracking functionality where angle brackets are encoded. And the reflection occurs inside a JavaScript string. To solve this lab we need to perform a crosser scripting attack that breaks out of JavaScript string and calls the alert function blah 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 blah. So let me just head over to the lab. And as always, whenever I'm trying to find cross site scripting vulnerability, the first thing that I do is I inject less than symbol along with some text that is code word here, right? So code word enter. And once I get the response, I'll check the inspector for this page and then search for all my reflections right here. So if I search for keyword that is code word, I can get all my reflections, right? Now, if I hit enter, you can see that I have three reflections right here. So one of three, right? So I have three reflections. Now, this is my first reflection, the one that is highlighted. And if I right click on this and edit it as HTML, you can see the actual version of how it got reflected, right? So the first reflection is nothing but ampersand LT along with code word, right? So the less than symbol is encoded in the first reflection. All right. Now, if I go to the next one, next one and right click here and edit as HTML, you can see that we have the second reflection right here inside the single quotes. So inside the single quotes, we have the reflection. And here again, we have the less than symbol encoded. All right. Now, if I go to the third reflection, enter. If I go to the third reflection, right click on this, edit as HTML. You can see that the reflection is inside image tag, right? And the reflection is in between the double quotes in the SRC attribute, right? Now we have three reflections and out of which you know the first reflection it is not bounded to anything i mean it is not inside anything whereas second reflection is inside the single quotes and the third reflection is inside double quotes now let us actually do one thing now let us actually see if the single quotes and double quotes are encoded or not right so what i'll do is i'll do code word single quotes double quotes and the reason that i'm checking single quotes and double quotes is that you know we have two reflections here and here right the first reflection is actually between single quotes so I want to check if I can come out of that single quote so that I can write my own JavaScript payload, right? And the reason I'm checking if the double quotes is encoded or not, I mean, it, whether it is encoded or not, is that whether so that I can close this double quotes myself and come out of that particular attribute so that I can write my own attribute, something like on click or on mouse over. So as my reflections are in between single quotes and double quotes, I'm just checking if those are encoded or not so that I can inject them so that I can write my own payload. All right. Awesome. So let me actually hit enter. And then once I get the response again, let me actually check for all the reflections. So code word. So now we have two reflections. So this is the first reflection. And if I right click on this and edit it as HTML, you can see that the single quotes and double quotes are not encoded. In the first reflection but there is actually no use because this is inside i mean this is in between header tags right now if i go to the second reflection you can see that it's inside the script tags so let me actually right click on the script tag and edit it as html now you can see that the single quotes and the double quotes are not encoded but if you observe carefully as the single quotes are not encoded right what we can actually do is we can actually close the single quote ourselves and write a new payload now let me actually show that to you right so what i'll do is I'll actually copy this this particular thing right so i'll copy this particular thing so let me open visual studio now we have this particular thing right so we have var and equal to search terms so there is a variable called search terms which is equals to whatever the value that we provide in the search box now let me actually show that to you again for example if i give pokemon here pokemon enter and once i get the response and if i search for pokemon my second reflection right if you just right click here and edit as HTML, you can see that whatever the value that we give here in the search functionality, right in the search box that gets reflected inside this particular, I mean, as a value for this particular variable that is search terms, right? So whatever you give in the search box, it will come in between this single quotes that is Pokemon, right? So in here, for example, say that we have injected code word and we also know that the single quotes are not encoded, right? So single quotes are not encoded, right? So now, now that the single quotes are not encoded, what I'll do is I'll actually inject single quote so that I can close this particular thing myself, right? So my payload would be something like this. So let me actually write the payload first so that I can explain you next, right? So my payload would be something like this code word. Then I'll close the single quote myself. Then I'll actually put a semicolon right here, semicolon right here, and then open a new single quote and put A, B, C, D, E. So this will be my, you know, this will be my payload. So I'll tell you what happens. 
now you know that uh, if i go back to the lab you know that whatever i give in the search box it will come inside this single quotes right now what happens if i give this value this will be actually reflecting in between the single quotes right so let me actually copy this right here so copy so where is copy copy and paste this right here right now if you observe carefully what do we have so now this particular variable search terms is equals to this particular value that is code word and we are closing that particular thing so we are closing that particular statement so this entire thing is closed and now there is a new value that is called as a b c d that is a string right so entire thing is closed so this variable is closed and this particular new string is created and if you see carefully we have something in between right this particular entire thing which is free we have two semicolons right and in between this entire thing is free so that means we can write whatever the code that we want i mean whatever the javascript code that we want in between them so what i'll do is in my payload here i'll write alert one two three right so what happens again i can copy the entire payload and put this between single quotes again right so put this in between single quotes now if you see carefully we have a variable search terms which is equals to code word semicolon so that means this statement is finished and the next statement in javascript will be alert one two three and that is also finished with the semicolon and again enter and there is a third value that is a b c d e so what did we actually do we actually wrote a payload where which has three parts right so the first part is used to just close this particular variable ourselves and the second part is to inject the javascript payload and the third part is to just create a string so to make the entire javascript valid right so now if i actually inject this right if i actually inject this copy and if i actually inject this right in the search functionality enter and you can see that the payload has actually worked right now if i go to the inspector and search for code word right sorry not code word alert enter enter and if i just right click and edit as html you can see that we have the variable that is search terms which is equals to code word and this statement is finished with the semicolon and the next statement we have is alert one two three which does nothing but which will alert a pop-up box and that is also closed with the semicolon and finally we have a b c d e which is a valid statement right because it is enclosed between single quotes now if you're actually wondering why did i put this single quote right here right why did i put this single quote right here now what happens if i remove the single quote now let me actually show you what happens if i remove the single quote and just copy this and paste it right here so let me just click on ok and paste this right here and then in the inspector if i search for alert alert and right click on here and edit as html you can see that we have a variable with code word right and that statement is closed and then we have alert one two three and then we have an incomplete javascript statement so you can see that this is incomplete i mean syntactically it is not correct we have only single code and the other single code is missing so that means this particular javascript code won't even run there is a syntactical error and that is why the entire javascript won't run and if the entire javascript won't run this alert also won't run and that is why you're not seeing the pop-up box right now if you want to see what whether your javascript is valid or not what you can do is you can simply copy this copy and actually search for javascript syntax checker so js syntax checker and then what you can do is you can go to this first one syntax validator and paste your javascript right here so let me actually remove this and paste this right here you can see that there is an unexpected token illegal so that means this particular javascript is not valid and as you can see here it is actually highlighting with the red line and saying that this particular thing is not valid and that is the reason i actually added this single quote right here so to make the entire javascript valid only if the entire javascript is valid then only our payload will be executed because only then the entire javascript code will be run if there is even single syntax error the entire code won't run i mean the entire code in between the script tags and that is the reason i have put this single quote here and here right so what i can do i can copy this again and instead of so if i add the single quote right here right you can see that it is syntactically valid and as it is syntactically valid that is why this entire code has run and as the entire code has run our code that is our payload alert one two three is also run and that is why we saw the pop-up box so let me actually paste the payload again enter and now we can see the pop-up box so that is how you solve this lab thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe now if you have any doubt right regarding this lab you can simply join my discord server i'll be always there so yeah thank you and i'll see you in the next video Bye bye